it is week three of my management placement after this week i've got nine weeks left so as of today you're watching this it's going to be sunday so i'm going to have nine weeks left oh my god where is the time going i can't believe it today is monday today i went out with the community case manager who is a band seven and she manages long-term conditions out in the community she does more of the complex stuff and she is also a prescriber so she can prescribe things and she was just amazing it was so nice to see how she works the sort of bond that she has with her patients because the patients she's got at the minute she said she's had for like five years so she sees them either some people she'll see weekly some people she'll see monthly it just depends on the condition and what their management plan that they've got is in place if that makes sense so every patient will have their own management plan and it just depends on that management plan how often she sees them whether they require her she can discharge patients as well from her care because they're managing really well out there in the community on their own um it was really interesting to see today we had all copd patients so it was interesting to see how they managed that and it was nice to see the sort of holistic care so she wasn't just thinking about the condition she was thinking about their sleeping their eating their exercising their well-being if they're able to exercise if they can't what sort of things they can do something like social wise like their social life how how do they manage the social life how do they get out and about it's really nice to see all of these different things being taken into consideration with this long-term condition the, apparently if you've got like a, um, a long-term condition such as copd or maybe diabetes or something like that it, it is known that you can become depressed as well as a result because obviously it's something like copd is a massive impact on your life there's going to be a lot of factors that affect your life so it might cause as well depression a lot of mental health problems with it so it's managing those as well not just the condition itself and along with COPD they might end up with heart failure they might end up with long other comorbidities around it as well not just um, COPD so it was really really interesting to see how she does that and yeah it's been a really good day and she said I can go out with her again as well if I want to go out again with her so that'd be nice to do that again because it was really 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 interesting and yeah so I probably will go out with her again at some point and one of the things that I picked up on from today was one of our patients had dementia and she also had COPD. And that really made me think about people with dementia and I'd never really thought about these things before. Obviously I've worked with dementia, I've worked quite a lot with dementia patients in the past when I worked in the care homes, so seen on the wards and things. I love helping those with dementia, I, I really love it. But something I'd never thought about is things like COPD and how they manage that. And when there's that sort of, the capacity sort of compromise, how how do they put things in place, like inhaler technique, if they needed steroid treatments, for example, but they weren't taking their medications, how is it managed? And that's something that um, really interested me to see that today. Our lady was quite advanced dementia, so she sort of she wasn't very mobile she really struggled to sort of stand up and walk around and things so from an acti active point of view she wasn't running around and making herself short of breath or something so from that side it was a little bit of a plus for this patient and they had things like a face put onto the inhaler so that she could take her inhaler properly by the sounds of it she she's quite um she understands how to take her inhaler so she is able to do that um and yeah it's just little things that i didn't really think about before that has come out today and i thought oh actually yeah i need to look into this a little bit more so that was really really interesting today that i learned a bit more about that and it's definitely something i'm going to look into because it's something i hadn't really thought about so that is my homework for this evening so that is it for today tomorrow i'm back on with my mentor wednesday we've got our presentation at university so hopefully that's going to go well so i'm going to practice that tonight and tomorrow tomorrow and make sure that I am presentation ready on Wednesday. Fingers crossed guys. So yeah, see you all tomorrow. So today is Tuesday and another amazing day. I'm sick of saying I'm having an amazing day um, and you're probably getting sick of it too. But I suppose it's nice in a way because at least you know I'm enjoying it, I'm loving life and I haven't come across anything bad yet fingers crossed gonna stay that way so today we had a mixture of patients we went out to home visits but we also had some patients come into clinic we did a mixture of catheters injections uh, male catheterization 
um, we had wound care, we had a whole load of patient notes to sort out. Again, I have my presentation at university, examined, fingers crossed for me guys, please make sure it goes okay. That's it really for today. Nothing too out of the ordinary, nothing too super exciting to tell you. We've just had an amazing, lovely day. It's been nice. It hasn't been rushed. It hasn't felt manic. It's just felt nice, if that makes sense. Um, even though we had a lot of patients to see, it, it felt like a nice, steady, busy kind of thing and I felt like we cared for everyone's needs appropriately so that was really nice so yeah so that's it tomorrow I have my presentation I will vlog tomorrow because I want to tell you all about it also tomorrow after the presentation I'm meeting up with a couple of lecturers gonna have some lunch have a cup of tea have a catch up and then after that I'm doing a Q&A session with the lovely Ollie who is at the postgrad med go and see his channel. I'll put the, post, post the links here somewhere, maybe in the details below. Go check his channel out. It's amazing. Really, really useful. And yeah, back in Thursday, Friday. So I shall see you all tomorrow for my presentation. I'm not going to sleep. Poster presentation day, guys. I'm on my way to uni now. Oh, perks have been up so early. Get to see the sunrise. Ooh. I'm trying to keep myself positive because I'm really nervous. Um, I don't know why I've gone so nervous. Um, I didn't sleep. I tossed and turned. I was having nightmares about failing. Um, so um, I don't know how it's going to go today. Um, keeping my fingers and hopes and dreams and everything crossed for myself. <laughs> Praying that I don't fail. I think I've hit everything on the marking criteria. So oh, we'll see. We'll see. But um, I'll let you know how it goes, guys. I'm just going to meet up with Pooja and some other students and practice before going in there. <sighs> Wish us luck. Hi, Hi everyone. Guys. We're here, just about to go up to our poster presentation. Oh, yes. I am bricking it. <laughs> I am <laughs> really you? nervous. You were I'm okay. Really she was scared. okay earlier. No. She's got nervous now. <laughs> yeah. I can feel my face is really warm. I don't, oh. We've been practicing our presentation. We have. We're on time. Well. Yours is yeah. really good. Pooja's is really, really good. Oh, no. I'm not just saying that because she's here. It is really good. I was like, oh okay. my god, mine is really bad. <laughs> no, yours is way better than mine. Yours is Sorry. always good. She's They're good both at good. everything, guys. Come I think on. we'll both pass anyway. We'll yeah. Win. I think we've both done enough to pass. That's it. Yeah. yeah. We just want that. We'll pass. be alright. But we'll let you know how it goes afterwards. See you later. Hi guys. We're oh my god. Hopefully we have spoke enough this time yeah. to pass. I think we've done enough to pass. Yeah. But I can't say it went a hundred percent well. I oh, feel like yes. it went really bad. <laughs> it's the time when they because we were all nervous. Oh yeah, sorry asking questions. <laughs> I'm not happy. <laughs> She's not happy. You did really well. I think yeah. she did really well. She included I think everything. Everything exactly. Even though you were at the time, I think you included everything. Uh, yeah. We'll see when we get the results. We've got five weeks to wait. Five oh, weeks. Yes. Five <laughs> weeks? Oh, no. From this five week, weeks. five weeks. That's a long, long time, guys. Long. That's long. a long time. <laughs> so we've got people passing. Oh, hopefully, hopefully we have <laughs> passed. Pray for us, guys. We just want to pass and finish this degree. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. We've got this. <laughs> So today is Thursday everybody, it's the end of the week, oh my god. So after this week I have got, have I got eight weeks left or nine weeks? Oh god, I don't even know anymore. But we officially finish at the end of November, sort of 24th of November, 22nd to 24th of November is when I'll be finishing. So these weeks are going very, very fast. You'll have to excuse me, I'm exhausted, I'm tired, I don't even know what day it is. <laughs> I think just yesterday with our poster presentation, I'm so drained. But I just wanted to update you a little bit about yesterday. So we went in, I was so anxious guys. I was so, so anxious, so nervous. I wanted to be sick. I don't remember anything I said, but I'm hoping I've said it right. So um, I think I've done enough to pass, like I said in my other video. But you know where you just think, oh, 
don't know. I literally can't judge this. I really can't judge it. If I think the worst, anything else is bonus. But as long as I pass, I don't care. It's fine. No, I'm not aiming for a first or any high category anymore. Classification even anymore. Anyway, yesterday's done with. Nothing I can do. Just got to wait for the results, which is five weeks time. Which is, yeah, the worst bit. Waiting for results. So today I was out with the band four. That was really, really nice to see. It was nice to go with her and see what she does and her role and everything. And she's so lovely. She's brilliant with patients, really knowledgeable. So she does actually quite a lot. She can do compression bandaging. She can pack wounds. She can do injections. She can do medications. She can do quite a lot. So it's really good to see that. And it's really good that she can do that. Um, I'm assuming that takes a massive weight off the nurses as well because they've got their own list to do. There's nothing really out of the ordinary I can tell you today. We had a wound dressing to do. It's my regular wound dressing as well. So I've done this the past couple of weeks. So it's really nice to see it heal. And it looks loads better. It's shrunk in size. It's looking really, really good. Next week, I'm assuming it's going to start closing, I think, because there is still a hole still tracking a tiny tiny bit but not as much as it was so that's been really really exciting and lovely to see that the wound is healing and i've been dressing it apart from that we have done pressure area checks we did a male catheterization i didn't do the male catheterization and i don't think as students we can do them we can do females but not male i think you need the extra training so i just observe and i help where i can so i'll do the documenting i'll put the labels on things I'll sign things, I'll do all of the sort of paperwork side of things for them just to take that weight off the off their load, make it a little bit smoother and easier for them hopefully and then they just countersign everything that I do. Um, so what else have we done? We've done loads today. I think we had about 12 patients or something, 15 patients to see. Or we did eye drops, updating people's notes in their homes, doing the Warsaw School, doing the like all different risk assessments i think that's it um had to phone a doctor because one of the wounds that we went to was quite infected it looked really infected it was red it was hot it spread the redness had spread as well so it was definitely infected so i rang the doctor got him some antibiotics and yeah patient was very happy with me so that was good and that's it that is all i've got to tell you we have got our obviously the q and a that we did me and ollie met up yesterday we did an amazing q a for you we've been answering all of your questions really really some of your questions were really interesting we had a good old giggle at the end of that q a let me tell you i think what's going to happen is i'm going to post my questions that i've asked ollie on my channel and he's going to post the question that he asked me about nursing on his channel so i'll put ollie's links below keep an eye out subscribe to his channel click the little bell so you get the notification when the video comes through and it is, it's going to be amazing he's sending me the video now so i'm going to edit it and I'm going to post that hopefully by Wednesday for you all to see. But we had a great time. It was so lovely. It was like just having like a, a conversation with like your best friend or something. It was really, really nice. Really good to do. That was Holly. Showed him around the university. I was like, let me show you my uni while we're here. Come on. <laughs> so yeah, it was really good. Really nice. Anyway, talking about five minutes this is. is. I'm going to have to cut this down. So yeah, I shall see you all next week i'll see you on wednesday hopefully for the q a so yeah have an amazing day everybody have a great week and i shall see you next week mm -hmm.